in the company of the CEO of Hanaji Solar Limited, one of the two off-grid solar systems solution providers funded by the Bank of Industry. I went on an inspection tour of Sabokoji Island. Femi Adeyemo, an international telecom consultant, talks about what inspired the project. Our people dying because they don't have access to clean electricity. Some of them because they have kerosene lantern at home, you hear of explosion and people in the family will die. Then um, I pass my neighbor generator. I mean, it's no news in Nigeria that you could wake up and read the news and you see that maybe a family of four or five, they slept in the previous night and they didn't wake up the following morning. So the hodge to make an impact, to affect the life of our people in the rural areas, that's what made me to say, okay, I mean, this is the time to go back to Nigeria and make a difference in our country. I was lucky to read a report online of a village it's a community, I mean, I won't call it a village, it's a peri-urban uh, community that has existed for about 100 years, but they never had electricity. So um, what we did is uh, we moved into this community and we started engaging them to see if we can actually make an impact by providing them electricity. So we moved to the village, I mean, it's called Sabukoji Highland. Um, I mean, it's just a five minutes, five, ten minutes boat uh, ride from the commercial center of, uh, of Nigeria, which is Lagos Island. So we moved into the community and after about four months of community engagement and sensitization, we were able to power the first set of homes. So uh, then Bank of Industry came, um, to did a request for proposal requesting local companies that have the skills to deploy solar in rural communities in Nigeria. So um, we understand that, I mean, eight companies applied and we were part of the winners. As a matter of fact, because before we were declared winner, and I have to give this to the Bank of Industry, they came to the village. They interviewed everybody that we've installed solar home system for. Without they, your knowledge? No, I mean, we actually went together, but they went and they asked questions that we didn't even think they were going to ask and they could see the joy, and they could see the system live. So, uh, I mean, with that Bank of Industry, uh, they were convinced that, I mean, we were actually capable to um, deliver value and uh, rescue our people from the many of uh, electricity issues that they, they have. With this support from BOI, Hanaji Nigeria Limited can now provide more solar solutions across various communities in Nigeria, even as the business expands, strategically alleviating poverty and developing rural communities in Nigeria, a vision the Bank of Industry is unequivocally committed to. I mean, it's, it's immense value that Bank of Industry is adding to us now. And I can tell you, with Bank of Industry holding us by the right hand and say, let's do this together, I mean, before Bank of Industry, we have the, this idea that, I mean, we do call it crazy because for me, if it's not going to be a nationwide program, if we can't revolutionize Nigeria with this, I'd rather stay back where I was, I mean, making more than six-figure salary. So, I mean, came back to Nigeria and we got Bank of Industry, I mean, we met with the management, and they saw the passion and the vision, and they realized that, I mean, energy has a team in place that can actually deploy and deliver on this initiative. So, um, I mean, you asked, I mean, what is um, this all about? The idea is Bank of Industry, as a foremost development finance institution in Nigeria, they've come to us and said, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a long-term loan and I can tell you this is more than 10 years, it's really long term, which is very fantastic for us to really be, I mean, to be able to really make impact. And I can tell you it's a single digit interest rate um, uh, debt financing that they're I mean, given us. So, I mean, we are excited and we know this is the kind of um, um, initiative or intervention that we really need in Nigeria to make things work. Because I tell you, um, electricity is not rocket science. 
And as a matter of fact, we are gen people are generating electricity already in Nigeria. We have our generators scattered everywhere, making noise. Uh, I mean, lots of, um, I can tell you, it's no news. Diesel actually has an exhaust. Diesel exhaust is actually carcinogenic. So either we like it or not, now the rate of our people that are dying of cancer is increasing because of these um, individual generators here and there. So what we need to do is to actually shift from generating power individually and, I mean, generating dirty power because, I mean, it's fossil fuel driven. So now we need to start to generate clean energy individually. And then, I mean, we can breathe cleaner air and we can live in a saner environment. Imagine if Bank of Industry say, oh, let's do a pilot and we're not starting with just one state. We're doing six states as a pilot. So what that means is, as soon as we've done each of those villages in the states, we can replicate in those states. I mean, different villages. I tell you, now we're doing uh, six villages. As a matter of fact, in Osho, where we are going to uh, have our own first commissioning, instead of doing one state, we are doing two together. We've looked at it strategically that we want the impact to just boom. So what we did is we tried as much as possible to look at the villages around the cluster we are working with, and we strategically placed a system in between those two villages so that that can serve two villages at a time. So as soon as the pilot is done, the idea is to replicate it across 36 states of Nigeria. So how much value will this alternative energy source add to the residents of these communities? 500 naira of fuel, they run it between 8 p.m. in the night till around 5 or 4 a.m. So that's about eight hours there about. So with the calculation, they've spent 1,500 naira a day if you want to run, I pass my neighbor generator. Let's even say, okay, it is just 500 naira that they're spending. Multiply the 500 naira by 30 days. So that means you have 15,000 naira. Somebody's salary. That's somebody's salary for you to run, I pass my neighbor generator. So compare that to what we are doing in the village now. So instead of people to spend 15,000 naira running, I pass my neighbor generator, we are charging them as low as 50 naira per day which is 1,500 Naira. So instead of 15 per month, so instead of 15,000 Naira, they're doing 1,500 Naira. So that's divided by 10 of what they would have spent for a cleaner energy. For the people in the right area, with this 1,500, they'll be able to power four LED lighting, they'll be able to power fan, and few hours of television with this 1,500 Naira. Some residents of Sagokoji Island whose houses are already powered by Hanaji solar systems, share their testimony. I pay nothing less than 700 naira per a gallon. Sometimes if petrol is short, we pay nothing less than 1,000. If I decide paying 1,000 in a month, I'm paying nothing less than 33,000 naira for an average man to live in Nigeria. But with solar, with daily payments, with just little amount, you will live very easily and you will enjoy it. No, I've been using this solar for more than nine months. And I have no breakout, I have no stopping. You can have a look at the solar, the panel is already on my air. The system is already kept by me. I operate it by myself. The way I operate it, it's very easy. Even an old woman can even live with a solar. An old man can even live with a solar. So a lot of people live here for donkey years, 50, 60 years. No light was even here. These solar people were the first people who admitted us to tell us, you can still have light that people feel that you cannot have. Now we see ourselves having light. You can even see in my home, I'm just playing music and enjoying myself with solar without even hearing any sound or any noise. It's silent. It goes easily. It makes your family feel happy. If you go into my room now, the families are happy because I believe it's easy for me to live life. Our next stop is the home of a 15-year-old boy who now has a phone charging business using the solar system his parents installed for residential purposes. Before we got the solar, we used generator. We buy fuel a lot. It wasn't very good. But now we have solar in our house. It's very good. I used to charge phone batteries, about 50 of them in a day, and I charge 15 hours each. 
nos habitants, ça va mieux. We also met a small business owner outside the community, Miss Ruwani. She has been using Hanaji Solar Systems for over six months. She says her business efficiency has been boosted with the use of solar energy. Um, it has had a huge impact on our business because it means we have pretty much maybe 10% downtime on days where it rains and it's very cloudy and there hasn't been any power. But other than that, um, compared to where we were last year where we only had the inverter and NEPA, we didn't have a generator, um, we had a lot of downtime because there was hardly ever any light to charge the inverter. Now, with, between the solar, every day we know that we're going to get at least five to six hours of power. So it's great for our model, which is training people in a classroom. And you need to know you have power to run the projector, the TV, etc. So from eight to six, we're in class. And maybe if it's a cloudy day, the power may go out by like 5 p.m. And then we'll run. We have um, battery-powered projectors. We have battery-powered fans. Computers are battery-powered. So we've learned to be very creative with how we use power and regulate it. The commissioning of the pilot BOI UNDP solar energy program across the six designated states comes up in just a few weeks. And we already know what to expect from Femi Adeyemo and his team at Hanaji Solar Limited in Oshun, Kaduna and Delta states where they will be deploying affordable off-grid solar home systems. Well, that's the much we can take on the program today. I know you still have a lot of questions about the solar systems and how it really works. Not to worry, I'll bring you the full edition of that interview subsequently on the program, where the MD of Anaji Solar Solutions dealt in details with all the frequently asked questions about off-grid solar home solutions. In the meantime, find me on Twitter at Adeshewa Josh and I'll be willing to take all of your questions. I appreciate your beautiful comments, business ideas, and of course, inquiries. Please keep them coming. I'll take two of them right now. Louis says, are there restrictions to businesses that can be sponsored by the Bank of Industry? Well, the Bank of Industry is a development bank and manufacturing is top on the agenda. Can your business generate revenue and create jobs? If it does, then find out more on www.boynigeria.com or download the BOI SME loan app from your mobile phone and start applying. Anthony Anosike says, kindly help with information on banned goods. That's no problem at all, Anthony. Just send an email to boiweekly at channelstv.com and I'll mail it to you. Continue to use the hashtag BOI loan app to find out more about the BOI SME loan application and more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again.